Welcome to BNC Car Reviews Channel. 1974 Alfa Romeo GTV 2000 is our bring a trailer auction pick of the day. It was already one of the most desirable Alfa Romeos, but this GTV 2000 has also received a full overhaul from UK specialist Alphaholics. Its fuel injected engine produces 230 horsepower, paired with a 5 speed manual transmission lightweight suspension and bodywork, and upgraded brakes. Nearly $240,000 was spent by the previous owner to create one of the best driving restomods out there, and some lucky bidder can get it on auction from Bring a Trailer. In the old days, the stopwatch made the rules, whichever sports car was fastest to 60 miles per hour or around a circuit was the best. QED Yet, even in that time, many enthusiasts waxed romantic about the appeal of an Alfa Romeo, not just performance but an experience. In an age when dollars equals speed, that appeal hasn't gone away. If anything, as in the case of this special little Alfa, the romance is even more concentrated. Up for auction on the website Bring a Trailer, which, like Car and Driver, is part of Hearst Autos, is this gorgeous confection of motoring con brio. Based on a 1974 Alfa Romeo GTV 2000, one of the prettiest coupes to issue from a Milanese factory, this one has been treated to a full workup from UK-based firm Alphaholics. With a week left to go until the auction ends on Wednesday, November 30th, bidding sits at $110,000. If paying new 911 money for an old Alfa sounds crazy, it's not. First, take the GTV 2000 itself. 1974 was the last year of these cars for the U.S. market, and they had everything necessary to provide a special driving feel. With a frothy 130-horsepower twin-cam engine, a nimble chassis tipping the scales at just over 2,200 pounds, and gorgeous styling, the Gran Turismo Veloce was everything that Alfisti could want. If the internal combustion wasn't always internal, that was just some added alpha zest. A life without even a little drama is not worth living, right? In 1977, Richard Banks bought the first Alfa Romeo Alfetta 2.0 L GTV in the UK, for competition in the British Production Saloon Car Championship. The car was very competitive. As a sideline to help pay for the racing, he bought and refreshed a second-hand 2000 GTV. It sold the same day as ad ran in the local paper. More than four decades later, Banks and his two sons, both trained as lawyers, but also involved in racing, run a family firm dedicated to creating the finest Alfa Romeos around. There's a temptation here to compare Alphaholics to California-based Singer and that company's reimagined 911s, but there are differences. Much of Singer's work is pure artistry but the cars that emerge from the Alphaholics workshop are more an organic result of one family's Alpha racing obsession. However, a 911 restored by Singer and an Alphaholics fettled machine are both idealized experiences of what you hope either a Porsche or Alfa Romeo will be. They are both a sort of cask strength distillation of the essence of the brand, the meet your heroes moment that doesn't disappoint.